Oh, excuse me, I was just guzzling gas. We've covered it before a number of times on this channel. Used car prices are insane. But what if not all of them were? Apparently, when gas prices go up, gas guzzler prices go down. Today, we are looking at used cars with big, fat, honking V8s and deciding if they're worth the cheap price or if you're better off just buying a Prius. I'm James, he's Justin. Let's guzzle, shall we? Thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Can you believe most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s? Ugh. It's 2022, people. Time to upgrade to the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and designed to fit comfortably in your front pocket. Easily holds up to 12 cards with room for cash. It even comes in over 30 colors and styles like burnt titanium and carbon fiber. The Ridge Wallet's durable exterior means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty so you can carry this wallet for life. For the rest of your life. life, life, life. The Ridge team even offers a 45 day test drive so you can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. I think you will. No wonder they have over 40,000 five star reviews. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash donut media and using code donut media or just click the link below. Now, back to the show. All right, Justin, let's get into our first vehicle, a Japanese luxury. Grand Tour known as the Lexus SC400. I'd also include the LS400 and the GS400. They all share the same 1UZ FEV8, one of the best Lexus engines ever. One of the best engines ever. This thing cost a billion dollars back in the 80s to develop. Good for about 290 horsepower. And there's a ton of them all over Greg's list, like this one that I found all by myself right here. So the SC400 gets shadowed by the 300, even though the 400 is technically the better trim, the 300 had the 2J, mm -hmm. like the fake 2J. I don't know why people don't buy them, <laughs> but it's mainly because the V8s didn't really come with manuals that much. Mm -hmm. It's a really ugly car. <laughs> I think they're cool. I think they're they, really ugly. They look like the, the thing from Lilo and Stitch. 5,500 bucks, this or a Prius? I mean, I'd buy this. Yeah. I'm gonna hit you with another Japanese luxury car, but this one, is still kind of a secret. Oh, all right. Not a lot of people even know it exists, and that's why I think that it's undervalued. The Infinity M45. Oh, we don't see enough of these. I think these look sick. They are. They're really good-looking cars. There was a point in time I was looking for like parts for my. I had a 300Z, mm -hmm. and this shared stuff with it, uh -huh. and I was just like, I got the wrong car. Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> like a Mercedes S Classy. Exactly, and then the fact that this is something you see in Japan that we mm -hmm. wouldn't get. Yeah, just and then... black on big work wheels. Exactly. This weird looking sedan, uh, like we said, was Nissan's flagship executive car in the early 2000s. It's got a 4.5 liter V8 that makes 340 horsepower. Damn. It's nothing to sneeze at. No. <laughs> you don't see these on the road very often, but even still, we managed to find a bunch of them listed on Greg's list. The interior is in really great shape. Yep. It's very Nissan. It's got an analog clock, like oh, a Porsche. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's got Sport Chrono. For $6,000, yes. Yes. 1,000% no, this car rules. Not only you get the practicality of the four doors and all the comfortability of the big sedan, but it's also unique. So people are looking at you. And it's a V8. We both love that car, but maybe you're not a Japanese car guy. Maybe you need to fit a lacrosse net in your vehicle because you and or your children play lacrosse. All right, if this is the case, allow me to suggest a 1998 Jeep Grand Cherokee 5.9 Magnum. I didn't know that there was a V8 version of this. Not a lot of people do. Hmm. It's pretty cool. We talked about this Jeep in a video that we called SUVs need to chill out because at one point, it was one of the most powerful SUVs that you could buy. They were only made for one year. They had a 5.9 liter V8. Okay. It made like 240 something horsepower, but over 330 pound feet of twerks. Is it four wheel feet. drive? It is four wheel drive. Okay. You know how you can tell that it's uh, the V8 one? Hood vents uh, from the factory, functional hood vents. They look like cheap eBay inserts. Though. I know, but they're not. <laughs> they're from the factory and they're functional. We found this one for 5,500 bucks. It's got 150,000 miles on it. You'd have to find one in really good condition. That's, and that was my next thing because American interiors. Right, do not last very long. <laughs> the interior looks like, whoa. It looks like, like, a, like a 90s 
bubble jacket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like Missy Missy. Missy Elliott. Elliott. <laughs> for 5,500 bucks for a four wheel drive V8, you can't beat that. I personally mm -hmm. wouldn't buy this. Mm -hmm. It's a little too nice to really beat up on the on an off road trail. That's my thought, yeah. But if you're a Jeep collector and you want something that's a little bit more unique that your other Jeep bros will be like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Sure. This seems like a great deal at $5,500. If you can afford the gas, yes. go ahead. Amazing deal at 55. dollars Like we said, that Jeep is hard to find. And if you can't find one, another great SUV option is the GMT 800 platform. That's Yukons, Tahos, Suburbans, Escalades, oh. which are fancy Suburban. A lot of nicer examples are honestly getting really expensive. 28 grand. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the board, baby. But you can still find great running examples of all these SUVs for under five grand. Uh, you can get them in two wheel drive or four wheel drive. They came with a range of LS based Vortec V8s. 300 horsepower. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so here's one we found on Greg's list 2004 GMC Yukon. It's 3,300 bucks. Okay. I don't want that car. <laughs> that is a good deal for one that works, if it does. Like, I've driven one of the Escalade EXTs before, and they're fun. Mm -hmm. You can beat on them, and they'll mm -hmm. just take it. You know, it's got the LS in it, whatever, whatever. But there's so many of them, it's not really anything special. Would I buy it? I would beat one up, sure. I wouldn't really commute in one every day, because that is a guzzler. That for sure is a guzzler. Yeah. But they're easy to fix, you know? If you were in a pinch, yeah, that's a great deal. Listen, I'm gonna say they're great <laughs> trucks, but I'm very disappointed with the example that our producers found. <laughs> we were gonna talk about the Crown Vic, but we found an even better option. Chevy's version. Enter the Caprice which also shares a platform with the Impala, the Roadmaster, and the Cadillac Fleetwood. These are definitely dated looking, but they come with an LT1. Uh, that's a Corvette engine that makes over 300 horsepower. Okay, this one is 3,500 bucks. It's got 109,000 miles on it. It's in a field. Mm. Sometimes a plus, <laughs> sometimes a negative. This looks this looks like someone drove a body to a field to bury it. <laughs> and then left the car. And then they finished it. Yeah, and then someone found it. I think more than anything I've seen on this list, boom. I think this is the best <laughs> deal so far. It, they're cool as hell. Just cool get as it. hell, dude. <laughs> LT1 parts are available, the rear wheel drive. A muffler delete is all you need to do, and it'll pop and bang. It's awesome. <laughs> just just buy one now. Because someone's going to offer you in front of a Walmart. 4,500 bucks for it. This is already a good flip. <laughs> yeah. Made a thousand bucks. Now, if you want to go even deeper down that GM rabbit hole, you'll find yourself a Bonneville GXP. This car was suggested by Rowdy on our Discord. What's up, Rowdy? He also posted a few of his own cars. He has an FJ Cruiser and an FX16 Corolla. If you want to learn more about Rowdy's car or how to be more involved with us making our videos, hit the join button down below. They'll tell you how to get access to our Discord and a bunch of other stuff. So, a lot of people haven't even heard of the Bonneville GXP. Uh, it's one of the last cars that Pontiac made before GM sent the whole company to hell. Mm. It was a very mid-2000s GM sedan. Had a North Star V8, made 275 horsepower. It is front-wheel drive. Uh. There's the catch. But that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're sleek and they look cool. They're also like shark nosy, uh -huh. you know, but for, what, this was what, six grand? Yeah. I don't think that's a good deal. Yeah, for six grand, there's a lot of other cars that I would get. For sure. This one doesn't really bring the cool factor unless you're a nerd. If your grandpa gave you this car, don't knock it. Especially yes. Especially if it has AC. But Absolutely. For six grand of my own money, I'm gonna pass. No. Not at all. Max said that Jeremiah was gonna sue me if I didn't include a truck on this list. So I'm gonna go big and suggest the Ford Super Duty line. Talking F-250s, F-350s, F-450s, Econolines. Yeah. That's a truck with a cape, <laughs> AKA a van. A lot of the older <laughs> ones are very cheap, even though nicer ones are selling for like 30 to 50 grand. So there's a huge spectrum of cost. We found an F550 work truck with a 7.3 liter diesel V8. So that's at the top of my list of things I might buy to drive around. For in sure. Love the picture. Is he in a forest fire? <laughs> <laughs> What's the mileage? Like 4 million? <laughs> 200,000. Oh, that's like 
That's nothing. That's basically four miles in tr in, in diesel diesels. diesel age. I was about to say this is another bad example, but that is ch very cheap. I mean, that, that's if you don't get stabbed when you show up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a risk you're gonna have to take. <laughs> if you had something that you needed a big old truck to do, forty nine hundred bucks, you're like, this is exactly deal. what I need. I love these, and right before we started filming this video, I turned to Justin. I was like, we're both gonna buy big diesel trucks after this. Yeah. Now we've represented Japanese cars, American cars, trucks. So it's only fair that we put a European car on this list. And there are a lot of older V8 European cars that are very cheap. Some of them are not a good idea. Most of them probably aren't a good idea. But the one I'm gonna suggest is the Mercedes-Benz 500 SL. Now my best friend in the entire world has one of these guys. It looks sick. It's one of my favorite friend cars to drive in front of. So I, just, I love looking in the rear view mirror and seeing yeah. it. And he designs our merch, okay? And obviously, he's got very good taste, okay? The 500 SL came with a five or six liter engine. And somehow, you can still find them for pretty cheap, like this one that we found. This is a 500 SL AMG, full AMG, all wiring upgraded, 200 miles per hour plus. Ooh. Runs great. <laughs> Convertible with removable functioning hard top. The hard top is removable and awesome. That's actually good, yeah. <laughs> That's really good. Has been well taken care of and maintained. All new wiring and fast as f <laughs> <laughs> This needs to go to someone who will not abuse the capabilities of this car. It runs at a much higher speed than the cars alongside you on the street. You Whoa. need to be responsible and at least 25 to buy this car. No exceptions for this requirement. Way to be cool and then like uncool yourself almost immediately. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, 100% want. It's been a long road, but we finally reached the end of the road. It's been a fun one. <laughs> yeah, and we have one more vehicle to judge. Instead of picking one, I'm gonna go with an entire genre of vehicles. Okay. Talking mid 2000s muscle cars, yeah. my man. S197 Mustang, uh, Camaros, Chargers, all of these are very affordable and they're completely overshadowed by the new ones because the new ones make like 800 horsepower. Yep. And you don't need 800 horsepower to have a good time. Nope. All right, how many horsepowers do you need? I've had fun with one. Check out this charger oh, that we found of course. in Oregon. $3,700? Is that dog hair in the back? Yeah. It's already done for you, it's man. Got, That's it's perfect got, for me. It's got mismatched panels. 3,700 bucks though, what is the problem? Cause he could trade that in at Carvana for cheaper or for more. Like Engine what? rebuild is not a positive. No. Okay guys, all new wiring <laughs> is not a positive. You don't want new major stuff. So I'm gonna say we're talking about early 2000s muscle cars. Mm. Yeah, 100%, I think they're a great option. Do I like some of them more than others? Yes. When the Camaro first came back, oh yeah, I think it was like the RS or something. You get it black with big black steelies. Oh, yep. Those things are hard. All of us should get one. Like everybody. Like not everybody at Donut. Everybody we wouldn't even spend that much money. <laughs> I know. Let's just all get them and we can mob because there's nothing cooler than driving a bunch of matching cars. We just got our new Buff Horses Club tees in. They're super high quality and 100% cotton. Jeremiah already pulled an entire motorcycle engine wearing it, so you know it's been tested. Go get yours today at DonutMedia.com. Thanks for watching this video and everything else on Donut. We're making a lot more videos soon because that's what we do. If you're new to the channel and you like that video, check out some of our other ones. We have thousands of them and we're constantly uploading multiple times a week. Follow Justin at Justin Freeman. On Instagram, follow me at James Pumphrey. Justin's a new host. We need to get him some new followers. Justin, what's your catchphrase? Uh, Y'all you have, have a good one. Fuck yeah, it's very good. <laughs> I love you.